Welcome to Patam Science Academy classes and we are on to question number 24 of exercise 6.3 and for this question we have to show that for a right circular cone of least curved surface area and given volume has an altitude equal to root 2 times the radius of the earth. So what's given to us is the volume and volume of the cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h and for this we have to show that so this is given to us and we have to show that altitude that is height is equal to root 2 times the radius and the minima for this has to be the curved surface area so curved surface area is pi r l so let's start with what is given to us and <coughs> Now we all know that a cone looks like this with the circular base and it has an altitude and we denote it by the altitude is denoted by h base it is by r slant light by l and we have this relation between slant height altitude and the radius and let's start with what is given to us so it's given that the volume is given so that means it's constant and from here we can get h so h is equal to 3v upon pi r square so this is the value of the h and now let's move on to the minima that is a least curved surface area so the curved surface area is we will try to get this function here that is a curved surface area in terms of r and for that we will go we are going to replace the value of l so it's l square and i'm going to square on both sides so square on both sides will give us s square that is in terms of r it is pi r l and it's pi square r square because we are uh, squaring on both sides so pi square and uh, pi square r square into l square and now it's easy for us to value the to put the value of l square else we have to put the value in the square root which would be a bit difficult for us so it's l square plus r square and so our function is in terms of our function is in terms of r so let's open the bracket it's pi square into r square into x square plus pi square into r raised power 4 and now let's replace the value of h h squared so h is 3v and also let's say this function is z so now our function z is equal to pi square r square and h square we have to square this so this is 9 v square square of h square is 9 v square upon pi square r raised power 4 plus and it's pi square into r raised power 4 okay pi square pi square gets cancelled and it is squared now so finally r least curve surface area square of that is 9 v square upon r square plus pi square r is power 4 and for okay let's differentiate this so with respect to r so it's dz first order derivative 9 v square v is constant so it's 9 v square and differentiation of 1 by r square is negative 2 into r raised power minus 3 it's pi r square into 4 r cube so we have differentiated this with respect to r and now our first order derivative dz by dr is equal to its negative 18 v square upon r cube plus this is 4 pi r square into r cube okay now for minimum curved surface area let's find out the critical point that is the value of r so dz by dr should be equal to 0 which gives us negative 18 by v square upon r cube is equal to minus okay so let's first put in the value 4 pi square r cube is equal to 0 which gives us 
negative 18 v square by r square is equal to negative 4 into pi square into r cube this gets cancelled so this is 18 v square is equal to 4 pi square r is power 6 2 9 the 18 2 2 are 4 so v square is 2 by 9 pi square r raised power 6 so let's keep this and so at this value of v square the curves uh, the curve surface area should be minimum and for this we have to find the second order derivatives that is d square z by d r square so the second order derivative for this our first order derivative is so second order derivative is minus 18 v square this is our first order derivative and differentiation of 1 upon r cube is minus 3 into r raised power minus 4 plus and the differentiation of 4 pi square r cube so it's 4 pi square and differentiation of r cube is 3 r square so second order derivative is d square z by dr square minus 80 minus 3 is 54 and it's v square upon r raised power 4 plus this is 12 pi square r square now let's check the value of the second order derivative when v square is equal to 2 by 9 so this is v square when v square is equal to 2 by 9 pi square r raised power 6 let's check its value so it's 54 by r raised power 4 and value of v square is 2 by 9 into pi square r raised power 6 plus 2 pi square r square which gives us 9 6 are 54 and this is square now so this is 6 2 are is 12 pi square r square plus 12 pi square r square which gives us 24 pi square r square which is greater than 0 so that means the value of d square z second order derivative is greater than 0 when v square is equal to 2 by 9 pi square r raised power 6 so that means uh, z is minimum z is minimum means the square of the curve surface area is minimum and the square of the curve surface area means curved surface area is minimum when v square is equal to 2 by 9 pi square r square r is power 6 but we have to show that it's h that is root 2 times the radius so let's find out the height so now we have this h that is equal to 3v upon it's 3v upon pi r square it's pi r square and we have the value of v square so we will square on both sides so square of h is h square and square of this side so square on both sides we get square of 3 is 9 it's v square upon pi square r raised power 4 so it's 9 upon pi square r raised power 4 let's put in the value of v square which is 2 by 9 into pi square r raised power 6 9 and 9 6 gets cancelled r square r square gets cancelled and this is r square so we have this h square is equal to 2 r square which gives us h is equal to root 2 times r so h is equal to root 2 times r when the surface area is minimum and this solves our question number 24 do like share and subscribe thank you for watching